Hello friends, this is Mayuri from Vidish Academy and this section is devoted to discuss about the equation of a straight line in normal form. So for this, let us consider a coordinate plane and a L which meets X axis at A and Y axis at B. And now let us draw a normal that is nothing but perpendicular from the straight line L to the origin O. And let n be the foot of the perpendicular and let us assume the distance from the origin to the straight line as p. So let us write the length of the line o n is equal to p. And then here o n ray makes an angle alpha with the positive x axis in anti-clockwise direction. So therefore we can say that o a n is a right angle triangle. So from the triangle o n a. The value of cos alpha will be equal to adjacent side that is O n divided by the hypotenuse side O e. So from this we can find the hypotenuse side O e will be equal to O n that is nothing but P divided by cos alpha. So we can write O e is equal to P into secant alpha. And remember that O e is nothing but the x intercept that is e of straight line L which is equal to the value p into secant alpha. And similarly, from triangle O and B, the value of sine alpha will be equal to the opposite side, which is O n divided by the hypotenuse side, which is O b. So that implies we can write O b is equal to p divided by sine alpha, and the value of O b will be equal to P into sine alpha can be written as cosecant alpha. So OB is nothing but the y intercept B which is equal to P cosecant alpha. So by using both the values of A and B in the intercept form of line which is x by A plus y by B is equal to 1. So that implies we get x divided by the value of a which is p secant alpha plus of y into the value of b which is p cosecant alpha is equal to 1. So that implies we can write this as 1 by p into x into cos alpha plus y into sine alpha is equal to 1. And then by transferring p to the right hand side we get x cos alpha plus y sin alpha is equal to p. So this is the equation of a straight line in normal form where p will be greater than or equal to 0 and 0 will be less than or equal to alpha less than or equal to 2 pi. It means alpha lies between 0 and 2 pi. And now let us proceed and discuss an example. So here this is the given straight line L and this is the origin and the perpendicular distance that is P is equal to 4 and given angle that is alpha is equal to 135 degrees. So by using both these values we can find the equation of a straight line in the normal form which is given by x cos alpha plus y sin alpha is equal to P. So by substituting the given values we get here x into cos 135 degrees plus of y sine 135 degrees is equal to the value of p which is 4. And now we can write cos 135 degrees in the form of x cos 180 degrees minus 45 degrees plus of here y into sine 180 degrees minus 45 degrees is equal to 4. And now this is in the form of cos 180 minus theta. So that implies here we get x into minus cos 45 degrees plus of y into sin 180 minus theta is sin theta. So here we get sin 45 degrees is equal to 4. So that implies here we get minus x into the value of cos 45 degrees which is 1 by root 2 plus of y into the value of sin 45 which is 1 by root 2 is equal to 4. So that implies here we get minus x plus y divided by root 2 is equal to 4. And then transferring root 2 to the other side 
we get minus x plus y is equal to 4 root 2. So that implies we get the equation as minus x plus y minus 4 root 2 is equal to 0. And then by taking minus as the common factor, we get x minus y plus 4 root 2 is equal to 0. So this is the equation of a line which is at a distance of 4 units from the origin and makes the angle 135 degrees with the positive x-axis. And make a note of the formula to find the equation of a straight line in normal form. Hope you understood the concept. For more videos, visit our website VDH Academy. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.